Good day, ladies and gentlemen, to the mining news on Commodity TV. The shortages in metals are becoming more visible every day, and supply bottlenecks are looming in the near future. This is primarily a consequence of the lack of exploration in the wake of the financial crisis 17 years ago, and of course the coronavirus pandemic. The fact that commodity prices have been kept low or simply ignored, as was the case in silver, is now taking its toll, and people have always relied on there being enough available. Exploration was and is never more important for the future, especially for a sensible environmental future. Gold mining is certainly a great pioneer here with exciting projects and investments. Trilling recently commenced on a 100% owned Sao Jorge gold project in Brazil, which covers almost 46,000 hectares and is located in the Prospectus Tapajos gold district in the Brazilian state of Para. The drill program includes approximately 1,000 meters of planned diamond core drilling and 3,000 meters of auger drilling. The confirmation drilling will be conducted within and near the margins of the existing Sao Jorge gold deposit to test a reinterpretation of the structural controls on high-grade mineralization. Targets will also be tested to highlight potential new discoveries along the broader, multi-kilometer-long, northwest-southeast trending high-deformation corridor that hosts the deposit. The program includes a mobile auger rigged to test surface geochemical anomalies for bedrock and define targets for deeper core drilling. The program, the program aims to confirm a new geological model for the Sao Jorge deposit, which could help optimize and improve confidence in the existing mineral resource estimate. We see Sao Jorge as a potential production area in the next four to five years. Auger drilling will focus on the broad geochemical footprint at surface, which has been expanded over the last 12 months to include a large 12 km by 7 km area of elevated gold, copper and molybdenum. Infrastructure is excellent as Sao Jorge is in the active and rapidly developing Tabarus Gold District and the paved Cuiba Santarem Highway has greatly facilitated mine development in the region, including Serabi Gold's producing high-grade Palito underground mine and G-Mining Ventures to Cantinzo open pit mine. There is also a 138 kV power line corridor connected to the district power grid that was recently constructed for Tocantinium. Exploration activities at Sao Jorge will be conducted from a permanent camp located adjacent to the existing deposit and only 3 km from the highway. Gold mining is stepping on the gas, and we are looking forward to the results. American Future Fuel and Premier American Uranium could now decide to merge at the Extraordinary General Meeting. Premier American Uranium is thus expanding its strategic portfolio of high-quality uranium deposits in first-class US jurisdictions. With the acquisition of the Sepoleta project, PUR secures prominent positions in New Mexico, Wyoming and Colorado. Three states known for their rich history of uranium mining. In less than 90 days, the Prohibiting Russian Uranium Imports Act will go into effect, a landmark piece of legislation passed with overwhelming bipartisan support in Congress on 13th May 2024. This act not only bans the import of Russian nuclear fuel, but also frees up $2.7 billion in funding to promote domestic nuclear fuel production in the US. Through these and several other initiatives, the US continues to demonstrate its commitment to the pursuit of energy independence and leadership in nuclear energy and technology. Moreover, this shift is occurring amidst the strongest fundamentals for uranium demand, which should further fuel the price trend. Uranium exploration, particularly in the US, should be a rewarding inf investment. Millennial Potash announced a private placement of up to 2 million Canadian dollars. One unit at a price of 25 cents consists of one common share and one half of warrant. Each whole warrant entitles the holder to purchase one common share at an exercise price of 35 Canadian cents for a period of 24 months following the closing of the private placement. This will allow Millennial Potash to rapidly advance its Banjo project in Gabon. We have set a price target of 55 to 60 Canadian cents for the share. Orania Resources has now closed the third and final tranche of its private placement of up to 20 million units for total gross proceeds of up to 4 million Canadian dollars. A total of 18.716 million units were sold for total gross proceeds of over 3.743 million Canadian dollars. 
Under the third tranche, a total of 3.622 units, million units were sold at a price of, of course, also 20 Canadian cents per unit, representing 724,400 Canadian dollars. No fees were paid to intermediaries in connection with the closing of the third tranche. Each unit consists of one common share and one warrant. Each warrant entitles the holder to purchase one common share at an exercise price of 45 Canadian cents per warrant share at any time up to the date that is 24 months after the closing date of the relevant tranche of the offering. This allows Orania to develop its strengths in France and makes it less dependent on Ecuador. You can also find all the information on our commodity TV app in German and English as well as everything to do with commodities. We look forward to your like and more importantly, please subscribe to our TV channel. Please note the disclaimer. The share shares discussed are or will be part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificates and I'm a shareholder in the companies. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Switzerland.